your partner walks into the room and says, hey, you've been very irresponsible. You don't wash the dishes. You're being an asshole. You don't pick up the kids. You blah, 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 blah. And she throws up all over you. Whether she's right or wrong, you're staying still. You're not reacting to what he, she is dumping on you. You're staying connected. You don't react. You're still, you're quiet. You're not interested in reacting to the world. You're not interested to reacting to your own mind. You're not even interested in reacting to your own emotions. You're not buying it. You're not buying any of it. You're not even by yourself. Whatever is going on in your mind, you're not paying attention to it. Whatever emotions rising and falling, you're not paying any attention to it. You're like, like disinterested. That's the only way. There's no other way. I can't give you a pill to do it. You have to do it yourself. You have to go beyond the mind into silence. So there is no thoughts. You're quiet. And the more you're quiet, the more you're connected to this place, the more powerful it gets. It's like a grid. It gets activated to being silent. Silence gets it activated. It fuels the fire. Fuels the fire of the heart. You're getting the heart going. You're migrating from the, the mind into the heart, to the being. You're bringing your attention to the being for the first time in your life. You're investing into the being instead of the world of the mind. You stop investing into that world by disconnecting from it. And you're shifting to here. Here is the presence. It's where God lives. This is where Her Majesty lives, right in your heart. So you're bringing your attention to your divine self in the union, reunion with the divine self. You're discovering your soulmate here. The one that always remains with you. The one that the only love that never leaves you. Your soulmate, your twin flame. Your power source, the heart the heart of awareness. You're bringing your attention here. And the number one thing starts to happen as your mind is becoming quiet, as this migration is taking place and you're sinking to the heart space, is you start to feel the presence. You begin to feel God. You start to feel the love the bliss and it's getting stronger because it's groovy because it's who you are and your love affair begins to happen. You're starting this new love affair. You don't know why you're so happy. You don't know why you're feeling this bliss out there. There is revolution. People are running around protesting, breaking things, angry, blah, 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 getting shot at, killing the police, police is killing them, da, 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 they're killing each other. You're just having a smile here and you're in complete bliss. You're really blissed out. And you, your love affair begins to happen as if you met a partner, as if you met somebody that you've been waiting for all your life. But this one doesn't leave you. 
It has no conditions. It's unconditional. Your attention goes in this direction. So you want to be alone. You want to be with this one. You want to be in the groove. And you start to feel it. So the grid gets activated. An energy force. Power, power source gets activated. Starts activating. And the field starts to get stronger and gets more activated and it's surrounding you. And you start to feel the divine presence, the divine love, the truth of who you are. And now there is no room for fear, worry, anxiety. Once in a while a thought comes, oh, what should I do? What's going to happen to me? And you're just looking at that thought. It's like a bird flying into the sky. But you don't react to it. Because you're in the groove. You have activated the real fountain of love within yourself. And since your attention is here and you're hanging out with the presence, with the self, you start to see that you're needless. You begin to see that you're complete. You begin to see that you have God in you. Her majesty is within you. It's surrounding you. It's here. And you begin to feel the power. The power of the one. And the connection line starts to get stronger and more integrated. The communication gets stronger. More instant. More powerful. Information is going back and forth. And you begin to see that there is no others. There is no other. It's only you. It's only this. And this is always here. And this is beyond your form. The form can go away, it can die, but you're here. The I am. And you start to see it's always been like that. You remember that, that when you were a child, you knew it. You felt it, you sensed it. Before your mind got conditioned. 